Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing the new LEGO Friends 25th Anniversary Central Perk Set, which is official LEGO Ideas Set number 21319, consisting of 1,070 pieces. This set also comes with seven different minifigures from one of the most iconic sitcoms ever to be televised. And I really like how the uh, designers of this set made it look like a television sort of set. You can see we have the lights here that can actually be rotated around and whatnot, uh, one on either side. And you can actually just pull these lights out quite easily because they're on a Technic pin. And you can actually remove these lights as well just by removing the entire thing if you don't like the look of them, if you think they're blocking the view. But here we have a little scene set up with all the friends. You can see the whole gang sitting around the couch having coffee like they do. This is their favorite place to hang out. And then you have Phoebe over there singing her jams like Smelly Cat probably. Rachel is serving in the background. And then Gunther is over there sweeping and dealing with other customers maybe. He's the manager of Central Perk. So that's what I really like about this set is you can take these seven iconic characters and sort of arrange them within Central Perk for uh, endless amounts of uh, combinations of fun. So this set is absolutely crammed full of detail and most of the detail can be found on this far wall over here. Starting right here with this uh, awesome print piece that obviously is exclusively found in this set. This is the central perk menu. Now the Lego group could have cheaped out and done a sticker but they decided to go with a print piece so that was a real nice touch. And just to the right of that there we have the uh, really highly detailed coffee machine and also the sort of bar or counter where Gunther would work at. A lot of detail went into creating that sort of espresso machine and coffee machine along with all the surrounding detail that's all sort of sitting on top of a, a nice cabinet there. There's actually a lot of pieces that got jammed into that little section there just to make the detail. For example, right down there uh, underneath the service sign that you see popping out from the wall, you're going to see some more uh, sort of that uh, gray color. And I believe what that is is actually a heating unit, like a boiler or something. And just just so many like different cups and plants and, and lamps and everything in that area. Then moving on from there, we got the uh, back door. It's actually just a sort of brick built curtain. Uh, right in below, uh, below that curtain there, there is uh, the counter, of course, where Gunther will work at. There is a nice uh, cash register there along with uh, a cookie jar. I really like the way the cash register is sort of like, a, or the counter is sort of like a wrap around sort of style. I like when they throw in different angles and stuff like that into any Lego build. And then right in behind that sign, even further there, there is uh, a few different coffee cups on the wall. That's one thing this set comes with is a lot of accessories. You can see a pink, white, and yellow coffee cup there right beside Gunther. Then uh, not to mention just the service sign itself. I like how it comes out of the wall and is shaped like an arrow and it's pointing right down towards the uh, service counter. So that's a really cool thing there and that is a sticker piece. In the background there you can see a actual print piece of the, I'm assuming the Brooklyn Bridge, which is nice because it just shows again that this is taking place in New York. And then there's, with the little flames there is actually a lamp. Then we have a nice little flower bouquet and then there's actually even a sign which is probably supposed to be a chalkboard the live tonight phoebe buffet so that's just a bit of homage to phoebe's performance right by the front entrance there there is a little umbrella stand along with a red hat so when we were building this actually i was thinking that maybe that red hat belonged to the bullies that were picking on chandler and ross in the episode the one with the bullies but thinking about that a little more we realize it's actually a blue hat in that episode that may actually been have been a nice little touch if it was blue moving around the uh, corner here by the front door we see uh, rachel there who's actually a server in this scene and then we see uh, phoebe up there singing away probably singing uh, smelly cat of course and you got a little couch a little brick built couch in behind her there uh, along with a flower pot and another table now something that's interesting is these lamp posts here are actually uh, new pieces that are exclusively found in this set, particularly in that color. So another really cool thing about this set is uh, the three rugs found here. The main rug right here with the armchair and the couch, 
Uh, the rug over here that you can see Phoebe sitting on, and then the one back there where Gunther is standing about to uh, do some sweeping there, actually pop right out of the set. So you just lift it up like this, and you can pop them right out, and all the details will uh, come with it, just like that. So that's pretty neat. You can pull out the entire scene and uh, see all the details. So that's uh, really cool. And the brick, not to mention the uh, brick-built rugs are super cool too that sort of have a really nice pattern. So starting with the first main carpeted area here, you can see the gang. They're hanging out on the orange couch there. This we feel is a little too bright for reality. The couch in the show is a little bit darker than that. Maybe even if they use that sort of uh, burnt orange color you can see throughout this set here, that might even have been a, a better choice. What do you think, Jose? Yeah, definitely for sure. So in this scene here, uh, there's lots of other details as well. You can see the reserved sign on the uh, table there. So what lots of people don't realize when they watch the show, they think that how are how is this group of friends always at this couch? Actually, fun little fact is a lot of the time they actually have a reserve sign on that table. Not all the time, they're not always at that couch, but for the most part, there is a reserved sign. So it's a nice little detail that they included in the set. Also, another nice little detail here is the uh, two chairs that you get here. Get the nice uh, sticker piece to enhance the look of those chairs. You can see Joey sitting on one there with his pizza slice. What's funny, actually, that I just realized is uh, what they could have included was the Joey special, which is two pizzas, not one. And as for the, uh, the couch and the armchair, they'll actually just come right off this uh, unique carpet here because it's only held on by a few studs. This couch is really well done. I've really never seen... A couch built like this actually during the speed build Jose built this but I'm probably gonna take it apart just so I can learn how to build uh, a couch like this and sort of steal the idea for some of my future mocks most likely and uh, same with this armchair here that we see Ross sitting in really nice armchair as well a little more basic than the couch but wow that's a really neat uh, design there then of course we have our uh, brick built table here a uh, nice design there as well. It's built using uh, bricks and plates, and then it's surrounded by those tiles here. Also has a stud on it, so you can affix some flowers and newspaper and stuff like that. This little carpeted area is a little more basic, still though a really nice uh, design for the carpet. And then it's got uh, two uh, chairs or two stools and a table, and it's got a little stud there where you can affix a minifigure as well. The third carpeted scene is right here. Once again, it's a really nice design and it's actually held in by a couple of clip pieces that clip into some modified plates. You can see it has a brick built couch where Phoebe is sitting, probably singing Smelly Cat once again. But this couch does remove just like that there. It's held on by a couple studs and that uh, planter or flower pot will also remove. In this scene, you can actually uh, add one other thing. if. Uh, Ross is deciding to uh, put a performance on. You can bring in his uh, brick built keyboard, which is a nice touch as well. So there we've switched the entertainment from Phoebe to Ross with his uh, brick built keyboard. So now we are just gonna take a quick pivot to the outside of the building. I like how they've added a lot of details to the exterior of this building. And these angles of these walls really come together nicely. And it's very unique how they went about constructing that. Now, because of these details, this set can actually be displayed from either point of view. So you could have it from the outside here, or you could have the interior details facing. And what's nice is this glass piece here the, with the uh, Central Perk logo is actually reversible. You just flip it out like that and put it back in like that there and then you can see the uh, print piece facing inward or outward depending on which way you're having it displayed there's a few other great details on the exterior of this building here just like this poster of joey so this poster is for the advertisement that joey did for itchy bond lipstick for men which actually is kind of interesting because it would seem that most of this set is based in the first season, based on some of the details we might discuss later on a bit. 
But actually, this episode wasn't until later on in the series. And then right in beside that is a uh, window along with a garbage can right below. Not much going on on this wall here, just the uh, back exit of Central Perk. And then this side here is actually quite ugly, but this is where most of the details are sort of formulated behind that uh, bar there. We obviously needed to include some stud pieces and modified bricks in this wall so that we could have great interior detail. But for the most part, you're probably going to display it like this here. How you doing? So this is the Joey Tribbiani minifig. He comes with a nice open button torso with a shirt underneath. He's got his funny little flirty face. He is, of course, holding a piece of pizza, and he also is included with a pizza box. As noted before, it would have been a little fun to include two pizza boxes, which is the Joey special. Also, you can see his little man bag there on the side, which is kind of interesting because, as we've noted, it seems like most of this set takes place in the first season, but his little man bag doesn't come until later on. He has a second face, which is a little more downplayed, but we really enjoy the flirty Joey face that he has right now. How you doing? So next up we have uh, Joey's roommate, Chandler Bing. He is wearing his typical classic sweater vest and he's holding on to his laptop with the handle. We know it, right when he got it, he bought it to quote, play games and stuff. And also to create that Rachel list. And every single one of these minifigures actually comes with an alternate face, which is nice. So next up, we have the paleontologist Ross Geller. Ross is wearing a jacket and tie, of course. He's sporting his spiked up gel hair. And I actually think the facial features on this uh, minifigure here and the lines and whatnot actually do a really good job of depicting Ross. Another fun thing that could have been included with his minifig would have been a little monkey, which would be Marcel and would actually perfectly tie in with this time. However, of course, maybe it wouldn't have been a very realistic to have Marcel in Central Perk. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Which we're guessing is probably what Phoebe Buffet is singing in this moment. I really like this minifigure. I like the acoustic guitar that it comes with. She also has a really nice torso, which is a really nice print piece. This is probably even an outfit that you can probably recognize from earlier earlier on episodes, especially her long ponytail as we kind of recognize as the Phoebe cut in the beginning of the series. So Monica is eating most likely a uh, muffin with a coffee and we actually see this exact outfit early on in the show. We have her typical long curly hair that we see early on in the series. And she also has an alternate face as well, which is just a smile. And you can see that the suspenders are carried over on her torso to the back. Next up, we have Rachel Green. Now this is the, the minifigure that really dates this set, which is why we think that it's based early on because Rachel is a waitress during the first and second seasons of the show. So that's why we think that this takes place during that time. So Rachel is sporting that classic Rachel haircut, which was so popular at the time, with her printed torso and her apron bottoms. And then she is holding her serving tray with her coffee cup. Rachel also has a double face, which is kind of a angry face, which we mostly see at times when she's dealing with Ross. And last but not least here, we have the employee of Central Perk, which is Gunther. He is, of course, sporting his detailed tie. He's holding a broom. We know that he's not directly stated to be the manager, but that's what we probably think he is. He has his white hair, which is more of a white blonde, but it gives a good representation of Gunther. He also has two faces. Both are pretty mild, which is pretty accurate for this character. So there we have all seven iconic minifigures from this Friends anniversary set, all of which are absolutely fantastic, come with some great print pieces, and also all have alternate faces 
and some awesome accessories, which is pretty cool. So here's the instruction manual. It's got a little bit of a write-up in the first few pages here on Central Perk and all the different minifigures of the iconic characters. And then it has a Meet the Fan Designer. And then a few images of the actual um, cafe itself as well. And then on the following page, it's Meet the Lego Designer with a little bit more information about the set. Notice the uh, consistency with the uh, print around the uh, borders of the pages. The set itself was uh, actually quite uh, a unique build. It uh, posed uh, some difficulty, well not really difficulty, but uh, had some uh, unique building techniques used from these six different bags here. And you can see the different steps. I do have a speed build video that I did make on this set as well. The box is really nice. It's almost like a collector's piece, just like every Lego idea set. On the front of the box, we have a picture of the set along with all the minifigures. Notice the print on all sides of the box. It just has iconic phrases like pivot uh, along the side and everything like that. On the back, we have some more images, uh, close-ups of the actual set, and then some more iconic print on the side as well. There's also a few other close-ups of the, uh, the minifigures and everything on the top of the box. So there's our review of the Friends Central Perk set. Overall, I think it's a great set. We got the whole gang here sitting around the uh, main area on the couches and armchairs and whatnot. I think it's a great set with some amazing pieces, including that print piece. Lots of great detail. And the minifigures are absolutely amazing. For anybody who likes Lego or loves this TV show, I definitely recommend getting this Lego set. We definitely had a lot of fun building this and reviewing it. We both really love Friends a lot, so it was really fun to see all of the different little details, and it was just really, it was a great build. Thanks a lot for the view, guys. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions or anything, you make sure you let me know by commenting below. Stay tuned for some more great stuff coming up here on my YouTube channel, and bye for now. See you next time.